So we are talking about what is the best laptop for a college student. There's honestly no particular brand that is 100% better than any other particular brand. I mean, you obviously know Dell, HP, uh, Lenovo, um, Toshiba, things like that. But to be honest, um, every brand makes good machines. Uh, the question is, what do you need it to do? So. Um, with that in mind, let me get right into it. Um, I basically listed out three things to consider while you are researching laptops. Uh, the first thing is what, what are the needs and what is the purpose of the laptop? Um, a lot of people make a mistake walking into the store when, when they just they want a laptop but they don't really know what they want it to be able to do. Um, so before you ever start researching anything, first determine what it is your college student needs to be able to do. Uh, if you don't know that, then you don't know where to go from there. Uh, the second thing to consider is what kind of, uh, what kind of use uh, and or abuse uh, do you foresee it to, to, have, to have to live through? Uh, a lot of people uh, will, will treat their laptops like babies. They will be very careful and, uh, and make sure that it doesn't get bonked around. Uh, but most people, in my experience, don't really care. Um, so if the laptop is going to undergo a lot of physical abuse and torment, then, uh, then you probably want to spend a little bit extra to get something that uh, has a little bit more durability to it. Uh, and then the last thing to consider are the components. Now the components are 100% are determined by what you need it to do. If you need it to be able to uh, have a lot of disk space for papers and things like that, then you need to make sure you have a, a large hard disk space. Uh, if you want it to be able to play video games or, or, or movies, then you need to consider um, finding something that has a video card upgrade in it. Um, do you need your college student to, to have internet wherever they go? If so, uh, a lot of laptops these days will come with built-in Verizon or Sprint or other carrier um, wireless cards uh, that, that they can go into a coffee shop or, or go into a quad area and be able to get on the internet from there. Uh, keep in mind that would come with some kind of service fee on a month-to-month -month basis. Um, what, kind of, uh, what kind of memory um, are you going to need? That's going to be determined uh, by what they're doing. Are they watching movies? Are they playing games? What operating system are they running? Um, memory, memory is the single easiest thing to upgrade. Um, so I'd encourage you, uh, if, if they're going to be doing a lot of video graphic design type things in college, then make sure you have a good video card, uh, plenty of memory, and a good processor to go along with it. Um, and the last thing is the operating system. Um, uh, I would encourage you, uh, if, if, if you want to save a little bit of cash, then, then make sure that you go with the XP professional or, or or home operating system because it is by far less resource intensive than say a Windows Vista. Um, as well there's there's a Mac OS or, or Macintosh machines. Um, those are not as necessarily practical for, for some of the things out there but they're very good machines. Um, unfortunately they also cost usually about twice as much as a comparable PC. So um, that's another thing to consider is what do you want to spend on the device.